Hi, Jamie Orr from Jelly Switch. Today I want to talk a little bit about space planning for your co-working space and specifically so that you are really ensuring that you're offering your members the maximum amount of flexibility possible so that they can be as productive as possible. And if your members are productive in your space, then you're ensuring that they have a really good member experience. And this flexibility includes, you know, not only just getting their work done, but also encouraging the right type of interaction so that you can actually grow your community and strengthen the, the connections between your members as well. And how you set up your space can really make or break that. So there's a concept called activity-based workplace design. And what this does is it really makes sure that it's taking into account the different types of work or just other types of interactions that people have throughout the day. Very few people can just sit at a desk in an open office plan all day and get every type of work done that they need to and really feel good about it. So you wanna make sure that in your space, you're not only including you know, the kind of traditional open office design, but make sure that you have other spaces that encourage the interactions, but also encourage productivity. So what are some examples? Well, for instance, if you are in an open desk area and you need to be on a video meeting, it's actually ideal to not be in that open area. We, we all know what it's like to sit next to somebody that's on a sales call, and no matter how good of headphones you have, it's gonna be distracting for the people around you. So you wanna make sure that you are offering as many private spaces as possible for those types of video call or phone call meetings. So whether that's a phone booth or a really small meeting room for like one or two people, you wanna make sure that those are easy to access and that there's enough of them for the number of members you have. Now, other things you might need is you might have small team groups that need to meet with you know, a whiteboard and or have client meetings. And so you wanna make sure that you also have meeting rooms that fit anywhere from you know, two to six people. And these are gonna get used a lot. You also wanna make sure you have kind of more social space. You know, when I'm writing or sometimes when I'm doing some creative work, I actually like that coffee shop buzz. And so I'll typically grab my headphones and I will plant myself in the comfiest chair next to the fireplace out in the lobby here at Cowork Tahoe. And I like having a little bit of almost like white noise, visual distractions and people walking around so I can really just relax and, and enjoy working out there. You know, it's also nice if I don't have my headphones on to just be able to chit chat if I'm doing stuff that doesn't require a lot of focus. Now in terms of focus, that really lets you have spaces that are quiet zones. So think like library quiet, where it's assumed and understood that you're not gonna take a sales call, you're not gonna have a video meeting, and you're not gonna be chit-chatting with two or three people. Because a lot of times people really do need focused, quiet space in order to get their work done and to really be efficient when they're doing it. But if you have all of these different types of spaces, these meeting rooms, these phone booths, these lounges, then what you're doing is you're encouraging your members to also move throughout the building during the day. And when they're moving throughout the building, they end up interacting with one another or seeing people, and that's where you start getting that water cooler style chit chat. Maybe it's at the coffee pot, maybe it's in the lounge, maybe it's just in the hallway. And so not only do they feel like they're getting to interact socially, even if it's just for a few seconds, you know, they really are getting what they need in terms of the spaces that they need. So keep this in mind whether you're building a new co-working space or you're thinking about redesigning it so that you can really uh, give your members a better experience. And hopefully you can incorporate some activity-based workplace design in your space.